Welcome to another episode of Tiffin Box TV. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Syed Yakin, an editorial photographer based in New York. In the last few years, he's embarked on a project that caught my eye, and I figured I should just have him come in and talk to us about it. It's called, well, let us have him tell us what it's about. Welcome to the show. Hey, Sashu, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Uh, you know, thanks for joining us today. Um, uh, I know it's a, it's a busy week for you with all kinds yeah. of plans ahead for New York and other places. Um, so let's jump, jump right into this conversation about your recent project. Tell us about the project. What is it, what is it that you've been working on that, uh, that you feel is important for us and all of us to, to understand and see? Sure. Um, so this recent project that I'm very excited about, that I've been working on for a while personally, and then I ended up um, working with an organization. So this is called Muslims for American Progress. This is uh, the New York chapter, you can say. So these are uh, people that we uh, photograph for. They're based in New York City that are doing work as New Yorkers to basically help, uh, you know, make New York better. They're, they're people from all walks of life. There were scientists, there are comedians, there are actors, there are activists um, and who happen to be Muslims. And they're just doing their thing and being in, you know, great New Yorkers. Uh, and yeah, this was, uh, um, yeah, this is what, how we started, I guess. Uh, this was commissioned by a uh, think tank called Institute for Social Policy and Understanding. Um, they were creating a report to um, put this all together. And so next time there is talk about Muslims doing things, you have a resource to go back to. Oh, that's great. So you have uh, aligned yourself to this organization and they commissioned you to essentially go out and uh, do you find the folks or do they find the, uh, the, the folks um, that you want to be photographing? How does that work? Yeah, so this specific part of it, uh, they found the people. Uh, okay. They interviewed. Um, I've been doing this sort of on my own as well, uh, not as organized as they were. So, you know, th there's a lot more data uh, of the people that I photograph for them. Uh, mine, I'm still trying to kind of connect back to a lot of the people and interview them and get their information. Because I wanted the, the photos, my... My thoughts were, and they agreed that we wanted photos that are connecting, that you can see an everyday person, but also we wanted the photos to have a little caption uh, that gives you a little, you know, little information about them. So you're not just, because a lot of people are not your obvious Muslims. You know, you see them, you're not going to be thinking that, but which is part of the idea. It was that we wanted someone to just connect as an everyday person, but also um, a little bit, you know, information about them. So yeah. So I've got lots of questions for you. First off, uh, you're a Muslim. Yes, proud one. A proud one, yeah. And you're from Bangladesh, right? Yes, absolutely. So Muslims uh, obviously live in, well, every part of the world, really, honestly, yeah. right? So, and they've made their home uh, here in America, and they've been in America for many, many years. Uh, yes. Right? And uh, as immigrants or as well, it's just Americans who have, uh, maybe have converted to Islam, right? Though you've you've got folks who are on the both sides of the the equation, I guess. You know, who, sure. folks who have come from uh, a predominantly Muslim country to America and continue to continue to practice their faith, or folks who converted to Islam yeah. after uh, being whether a Christian or a Jewish person or whatever. You know, right? Sure. Um, so your your project is is really to highlight the fact that uh, Muslims are regular people. They're just doing regular things, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, as odd as that sounds, basically. Uh, <laughs> Why would that be odd, know, right? I mean, you know, who, who would have to, you know, you wouldn't have to think that, that that's not something you should have to make a point out of, I guess. Yeah. But why is it at, so important for you to do that, though? Because as a, a Muslim, as an American, as a New Yorker, whatever you want, you know, all yeah. these labels, uh, none of them, one doesn't contradict the other. Mm -hmm. So 
it, it's you know sometimes it's it's disheartening to hear all the negative things you hear in the media. Sure. I mean, it's I don't have the data in front of me right now, but like I think the negative news you hear about Muslims are I would say almost I think 18 or 19 percent more. I might be really low on my uh, calculation, but uh, I mean, it's just an extremely different amount of, you know, good versus bad you hear. So as a Muslim, as a proud Muslim and a proud American where my, you know, my kids are born here, this is sure. home. Yes. I want them to feel they are part of this as much as the next person. So this Honestly, the back of my head a couple of years ago when I started thinking about this, it was more about to create images that my kids could connect to. And mm. so that was initially my personal interest in this, to see something that, uh, you know, that's everyone, every types. Because Muslims come from all over the world, which is one of the best things just as America. Right. Right. There's people from all over the world. So, right. you know. That was my personal connection to that initially, yeah. and I'm, I was so excited to connect with this organization. And you know, we're hoping to, you know, expand it to other cities because there is so much more, you know, that can be done. Yeah. So, so the the idea, I guess, is uh, is to perhaps uh, help yourself, help your kids, help your yeah. community. Hundred percent. To, I guess stake your ground in a way and say here we are Americans too but we are we're proud Muslims and we are doing things here that are positive that are positive not just for ourselves but for the entire yeah. country me, right of course absolutely right? that's the exactly that's the whole thing right there right. is of course it's good and bad in everyone and everything and every you know that's not the you know but yeah the, the majority of people are living their life doing their things taking care of their family, being a part of the community, helping. I mean, some of the people that we photograph for this specific part of the project, um, if you read their bios, you will see they're, they're scientists, they're doing amazing research, they're activists, they're you know, teachers that are, I mean, the amount of good they're doing is amazing. And I was so proud to be able to meet them and photograph them and so excited to share their, yeah. you know, about them. Um, and all of that to say is that yeah, they're doing all of this be while being Muslim. <laughs> you know, it's not right. one doesn't have to do anything with the other. Right. Uh, Talk to us a little bit about the uh, uh, the sort of technical side of things here for a bit uh, for our uh, photographer audience, uh, because sure. I mean, you've I'm looking at the photographs uh, that you've sent me to uh, display for this for this blog post and this for the show. Um, it seems like a fairly uh, simple setup, simple yeah. background. Uh, why this approach? What was it that, uh, you know, message to you that, hey, listen, I want it to be sort of a three-fourth headshot type photograph for you? Yeah, I wanted, well, as far as like the technical things, you know, it's one main light above camera with a giant, you know, octa mm -hmm. soft light. Um, and some of them, almost all of them, I have a little hair light too, depending on what their person was wearing. Uh, but I, obviously, I wanted to keep it simple so that I can recreate it because I'm hoping to do this uh, for a long time. Um, so yeah, that was that part. And I, I wanted it to be that, you know, while I photographed him, we had, we were talking to each other. We were having a conversation. I had somebody else. We were, so I wanted the photos to look as, you know, as a conversation, as you are having a conversation with the subject you're looking at. So you know, it's more connecting as, as I said, the photos when they're displayed, they have a little caption underneath them about mm -hmm. the person. Yeah. So you can, you know, you can read a little bit about them and you can connect with the person. That's the, that's the idea. Um, uh, more of the technical side so we can get it out of the way, mostly. Yeah. Uh, you used uh, one lens, uh, one light, essentially, unless you had a hair light. Uh, yeah. What, what camera bodies are you using? What lenses were you using for this project? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a Canon shooter, so it's a Canon 5D Mark III. I love my Mark III. Um, 2470 is the lens I use for this. And um, I think my light was, uh, I'm trying to think, what's the, the flash point? Um, I think 8600 is okay. what the number is. I'm not thinking right now properly. <laughs> okay, but, that's okay. Um, yeah, but it's, it was, you know, right above me on a uh, Octa. So it was a 
pretty tight space where we shot, which was good in a way because you know it kind of prepared me for when I continue this, so I can shoot it in a smaller space. Indeed, uh, yeah, it, it it sort of trains you into working with what you've got, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I love the expressions on every one of them because they, f it feels as if uh, that they have allowed you into their lives. Um, but and I have to ask you this, and I hope you don't mind my asking you this. Is it because they felt more comfortable with you being Muslim as well? I don't think so, because honestly, a lot of them didn't know me personally, because okay. I'll, uh, um, uh, most of the initial conversation was with uh, someone from the organization. Okay. So, and when they walked into the set, if you say, you know, if you call that, like, come in for the photo, we literally had a couple of seconds to just, I didn't want to influence them. I wanted them to nice. be in front of the camera, but tell their story, you know, just Got talk it. a little bit about them. Yeah. And then afterwards, we had a small conversation till the next you know person came in. Right. So uh, a lot of them were pleasantly surprised, which was nice. But uh, yeah, no, they, you know, we're just having a conversation. That's great. Uh, did they get a, get to choose the photograph that they wanted represented? Some of them wish they could. <laughs> no, um, we I, I took a, you know sort of a different angles of. I guess about three, you know, three different sides, kind of while we were conversating, and we picked depending on the person. And I, I see the organization um, and myself actually. We use different photo, you know, just to kind of show a different side of the person, if you say. Uh, yeah. And also connecting a little bit off with yep. the description, you know, so it connect with the photo. Uh, Have you heard back from anybody uh, directly, either? thanking you or saying, hey, listen, I wish you had used a different photograph of me. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm actually friends with a couple of them now on, awesome. on Facebook after I met them through this project. So yeah, we're, uh, no, awesome. I haven't had any like, hey, I don't like my photo. I'm, you know, <laughs> some of them didn't, I guess, realize or they forgot that they were going to be photographed. Yeah. Uh, so they were like, oh my God, I, you know, especially uh, like I, I should have put on some makeup or I let me fix my hair. So, you know, we had a couple of those. Sure, uh, sure. But I really wanted I mean, so after the photo thing photo was done, we had a conversation about if I wanted to retouch them, you know, just kind of smooth things out. But we decided not to um, just keep it more. Keep it real. Or, yeah. Keep it. You know, they're, they're great looking people. They were beautifully lit. I think yeah. they look great. So I didn't see any, you know. Anything that needed to be touched up, if you say. But um, yeah, we wanted to keep it real. Right. Just... So going back to the the way that you connected with this organization, did they find a grant to pay you, or is this all pretty much a uh, a pro bono type of project for you? Oh no, this was a uh, this was a paid gig. Uh, yeah, this was uh, it was which was nice because it was part of a, a grant that they received from another organization. Um, I actually met one of their original, um, I think her official title is an investigator. You know, they were kind of reaching out, or she was a project manager, I'm sorry. But we met at a, another um, uh, sort of a conference kind of thing in Michigan, and I, I, she was right next to me, so I introduced myself, and I was so excited to see them because I know they were interested in doing this kind of project. They have done something similar a couple of years ago in Michigan. So I pitched my, you know, my ideas and we connected and a couple of months later I got an email say hey we want to do something in New York are you available so I mean I was super excited and I'm so proud of this it's it's definitely a, a great body of work um, and it showcases people uh, I'm looking at them right now and I, every one of them I feel like I can have a conversation with I mean you know yeah. That's, that was the idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's like you could you could step into their world and uh, we could talk about really anything. Uh, and that's how I feel. You know, awesome. um, you mentioned in passing that you want to move this off into other cities. Uh, do you have any plans? I know and you just mentioned that, you know, they've yeah. sort of done this in Michigan a little bit. Where where other where else would you want to go? So um, I am hoping to do this uh, in Philadelphia and in DC. There is obviously a pretty decent Muslim community there. Um, also, because they're bigger cities, my, my hope is not to obviously just photograph Muslims, but uh, 
have a larger community see these images and connect with them. You know, so bigger cities are obviously um, easier to uh, have access to with larger community of people. But uh, on, on a side note, which I, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but I'm hoping to start a long-term project called uh, the American Muslim Experience. And that's where I think when the, initially we were talking about Muslims coming here. So I, I'm actually learning myself the old, long history of Muslims in the United States coming on slave boats, basically, you know, the, some of the first Muslims in this country. So I'm, I'm learning more about them and I'm hoping to connect with um, some of their, you know, families and find them and photograph them and tell their story. But that that's, a, I guess, another thing on a longer project. But we'll see how that goes. We'll but talk yeah. about that when that when that yeah. sort of wraps up, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's that's exciting here that, you know, one project sort of, uh, yeah. you know, Honestly, you know, into another project. Right. You know, that's yeah, awesome it, that you will be able to jump off and do other things and do other things. So. Absolutely. And it's been a learning process for myself, too. I mean, I got to meet people from so many different, you know, countries and so many different types of Muslims, if you say. So it's definitely been amazingly uh, a learning, you know, process for myself. Yeah. What has been the most challenging thing in the process, though, the whole project? What, 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 what um, would you say you'd like to see different? Personally, um, as specifically for this project, I would want it to get a little bit, uh, you know, get it out there a little bit more. Um, yeah. We have had a couple of institute, uh, you know, be interested and the talk started and kind of fizzled off. And then, you know, it, it, I mean, I understand a lot of them. Take, it's a pretty long term uh, conversation. Um, so, yeah, you know, as this is like my baby, you know, I want it to be out there. I want everybody to see it. I want everyone to be. Yeah. So it's been personally a little, you know, but I'm, it's coming. It's just, I guess I'm a little impatient. So, you know, that's all. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm like, come on, next, uh, let's do something else. What's awesome. the next? One last question for you. Uh, you have uh, obviously done this by yourself. You go and set up and light people and photograph people all by yourself. Do you work with assistants or do you feel like you can, you, you don't want another body in the, in the room? Yeah, no, I, I did this myself and I kind of wanted to do it. I wanted to keep it intimate, you know, so it was because uh, it was, you know, I wanted to make sure we're having a conversation. So awesome. yeah. it's not the, the person I'm photographing is not too concerned about, you know, someone else being, you know, how sometimes you get influenced by somebody else in the room. And my gear, it's pretty light. You know, it's not like a lot going on, although carrying that backdrop in and out was another conversation but uh it's doable but you know by myself i did you know it's very much doable indeed indeed awesome hey uh say this is a fantastic project uh i wish you all success and i look forward to seeing more Thank photographs you. from philadelphia and dc and perhaps on the west coast um, yes. i wish you all success with that and uh, i hope that folks who are even thinking of doing something like this will do their research and do their homework yeah. and connect with people who are also inclined to, uh, you know, tell the same story. So, you know, I, there's, a, there's the sense that, you know, uh, photography is all about weddings and, you know, family portraits. There is another option that you can go out and work with communities and help communities really uh, elevate their profile in a way where, you know, everyone's being helped and, uh, you know, you're the guide and you're making them the hero kind of thing, you know, where you're yeah, stepping exactly. up and saying, hey, these are the folks who are within your community who are doing amazing, amazing work. Uh, you should get to know them, <laughs> you know, yeah. right? How, 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 how amazing would that be if, if even one person who's not a Muslim identifies somebody says, hey, that's, you know, whoever that works yeah. in, you know, in, the, in the bakery down the road or in the, in the clinic down the road or whatever. And I know that person now, you know, and all right. I can go up to him and say, hey, listen, I, it's great to connect with you, you know. Uh, yeah. I think that is, uh, that is phenomenal. That's powerful stuff, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's the hope. We want to get the photos out into the communities and, yeah. you know, have a conversation. I know I said last question, but I got one more because you have a, a show coming up where you've, you've actually started displaying these photographs in public. So talk a little bit about where that's going to be. I mean, yes. that, I would love to have people show up to... Uh, well, where that, that display is taking place. 
So it's actually already up in up right now. It's going to be up for uh, about a month at the Mulberry Street Library in downtown Manhattan. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, they're up visible for everyone coming in and out of the library. Um, this coming, um, I don't know when this is going to air though. So, uh, but this coming Saturday evening, there's a little talk, but might be too late for your audience. <laughs> uh, but they're going to be up for um, a month. Yeah, please come check them out. Tell me what you think. Awesome. Find people and yeah. Excellent. Thank you again, Syed. I look forward to so meeting you sometime in the near future. Take care. Thanks so much. Mm-hmm.